all 600. You're watching a video from Psycho Cruises All in One Sport Bike Channel. Subscribe today. I've mentioned this in, in many, many of my videos where I was telling you guys that rural riding is going to be a much safer riding experience than, than riding in the city and stop and go traffic. And I know a lot of you guys say that the danger out here with rural riding is animals crossing the street. But I'll tell you guys, you know, uh, I'll tell you, I lived in Colorado and I drove, I 4 by 4 it all in the mountains, the Rocky Mountains of Colorado, all on the back roads, the back mountain roads in Colorado, rural roads everywhere. And I'll tell you that I've never once hit an animal, not one time. Here in Ohio, I've driven all over the state of Ohio, the back roads, the state parks, you know, out in the country. Never, not one time, have I hit an animal. The only time that I came close to hitting an animal, and it wasn't really all that close, it was not too long ago, as you guys saw in my YouTube video, where I was riding at night on a rural road, and a, a, a flock of um, deer ran across the street. Whoa, whoa, ah, ah! But it wasn't really all that close. I'd say they were probably a good, I don't know, probably a good 40 feet in front of me. But had I been speeding, it could have been a different story, but that's because I was riding at night. When you ride at night in rural areas, that, in my opinion, is it's dangerous because there's a lot of animals do a lot of their activity at night. There's a lot of nocturnal animals out there that cross the street. You have deer that cross the street. But during the day, Even though animals do cross the street during the day, it's uh, your chances of hitting an animal during the day are a lot less during the day than it is at night. However, if you see a rabbit coon wandering aimlessly during the day like I did, make sure it don't get you. So, in my opinion, you are going to be much safer riding your motorcycle out in rural areas during the day than riding in city traffic. City traffic, man, you're, it's just, it's dangerous. Oh, look at that. It's crazy, man. Is he crazy? What the hell's wrong with this dude? Man, a lot of cars are unpredictable. You don't, like I said, if you don't want to get bit by a dog, you're not going to go hang around a lot of dogs. Or if you don't want to get bit by a shark, you're not going to go in shark infested waters. Same thing goes out here on the streets. You don't want to go, if you don't want to get hit by a car, don't hang out with a lot of cars. Stay away from them. You now, ride out in these rural areas like I'm doing right now. Hey, by the way, there's the Boston Mill Ski Resort. That's like one of our, I think we've got another ski resort. This is Brandywine. This is, we only have two ski resorts, but this is our ski resort. Uh, compared to Colorado, these are like fucking mounds. <laughs> but that's all we got, and I love it, man. But I tell you, the best skiing is in Colorado. Snowboarding and skiing, Colorado, that's the place to go, man. It's fucking awesome. That's what I miss about living out there. It's heading out to the mountains and going skiing. Good times, man, but hey, at least we have a little one here. It's better than nothing. But anyways, yeah, riding out here in these rural areas, you know, it's gonna be a lot less traffic. 
and as long as you're not speeding out here on these rural roads, you know, your safety factor goes up riding on these rural roads, man. And it's more fun riding on rural roads because I hate riding in stop and go traffic, man. It's fucking boring. It's irritating. I love just cruising here, seeing the beautiful scenery, you know, thinking to myself about maybe future endeavors, future goals. Just enjoying myself, being one with nature out here. I love it, man. This is this is really living to me. This is what I enjoy about riding a motorcycle. And uh, and it's a lot safer, you know. I've been very fortunate so far. I've never crashed on a motorcycle. Knock on wood. And uh, and I feel as long as I continue to, to ride with uh, safety as my first priority and, and continue to do the bulk of my riding out here in the rural areas, there's no reason why I should, should crash, man. Like I said, knock on wood, you know, and shit happens, but I tell you, I would rather, and even if you do hit an animal, I, to be honest with you, I'd rather hit an animal doing 40 miles an hour than to hit a car doing 40 miles an hour. <laughs> I'd rather hit flesh and bone than to hit fucking steel. You know? So, for you new riders out there, take your ass out in the country, man. And just get out there and enjoy cruising, being one with nature. You'll be a hell of a lot safer than riding with traffic. Because cars are unpredictable, man. Right there. Mm. Scooter rider. I love to see scooter riders, man, because I used to be a scooter rider. And uh, I may get another scooter, man. I think they're cool. Like I said, if I had them my way, I'd have every type of motorcycle. If I had a big garage and I had millions of dollars, man, I'd have every kind of motorcycle. I'd have scooters. A touring bike, dual sport bike, dirt bikes. Fucking, I'd have the whole power sports set up in my garage, man. But hey guys, that's all I have for ya. So get your ass out here in the country, man. And just be at one with nature and stay, you'll be a lot safer out there. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Lover's Leap is one of several spectacular views along your journey through Patrick County, Virginia. In the 1600s, the Indians inhabited the Blue Ridge Mountains. White settlers started arriving and began clearing the land to farm. Soon after, conflict arose between the Indians and the white settlers. Legend has it that the son of a settler saw the twinkle in the eyes of the chief's daughter, Morning Flower, and was immediately love-struck. The couple began to meet secretly and their love continued to grow. The young man and the Indian maiden were threatened and shunned. With the beautiful rock and wildflowers as their backdrop, they jumped into the wild blue yonder, ensuring they would be together forever. As you gaze out at Lover's Leap, you can still see the evidence of their love in the beautiful view and hear their whisper in the cool evening breezes. This is Lover's Leap. And it's time for Cycle Cruiser's Recommended Videos. Links are in the info section of this video. Check out this motor vlog where I tell you about what sucks ass about street riding. So a car almost swipe you and you feel like you want to do some get back and beat that ass. But you know what? I got a better way for you guys. Forgiveness. Check out my street justice and forgiveness motor vlog. Yeah. Psycho Cruiser takes you back to the hood in this motor vlog. Go check it out. Check out my motor vlog on why you should avoid riding in rain. Hey guys, check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlogs. Get your Psycho Cruiser sport bike themed apparel at Psycho Cruiser.
CycleCruiser.com. CycleCruiser.com. Hey, join in on the discussion over at my forum at CycleCruiser.com. And also hit like on my Facebook page for new updates. And that's Facebook.com forward slash CycleCruiser1.